undoubtedly there were some of you that noticed that yesterday's episode, episode 219, was available to be viewed about oh half an hour, 40 minutes earlier than normal. Well, here's what happened. We had a power failure while you while I was still uploading to YouTube, and uh, it had about oh 14 minutes to go according to what. YouTube was telling me on the screen and I'm thinking okay my battery backup had kicked in that's why I was still able to still see everything the little blue light there it's a that's a battery backup depending on how much stuff is on it'll go for half an hour to an hour anyway I start shutting stuff down like the surveillance monitors plugged into it and uh, and so I shut that down that gave me a little extra so I knew that I had enough battery to continue to run the main unit in the back there which which was uploading to to YouTube and uh, then eventually I shut this down this this uh, large 4k monitor takes a lot of power so I, I unplugged it in the back and uh, then I went on my laptop you can't see it it's behind the chair and uh, went on the laptop and I logged into YouTube and I'd never done this before <clears throat> excuse me I'd never never been on on two different computers uh, to YouTube at the same time but apparently you can do that so I logged in on the laptop even though this one was still uploading the video and I was able to change the settings I didn't know how long the power failure was going to be so I changed the settings so that as soon as the as soon as the uh, YouTube finished processing the video it would be available to view and that's why you got to see it a little bit early yeah obviously the power is back on now but the power failure lasted for about an hour and 15 minutes which is a long time for Winnipeg usually we'll have just a very short momentary little thing and yeah so uh, like I say that's what happened yesterday which is actually still today to me because uh, it only happened about you know an hour and a half ago now. So now I can get back to the model ship and start episode number uh, 220. See if I can get a little bit done yet this evening on 220 and then we'll do the rest of it tomorrow morning and uh, I'll upload it again and hopefully we won't have any more power failures. Okay, off of the C sheet we need 25, 26, 27, and 28. And here they are. 25, 26, 27, and 28. Notice how they get progressively smaller. I now have all the photo etch pieces necessary to go on this part here. But I was just looking ahead here. And uh, we're going to be doing this hanger in this step and this is the hangar they're going to have the uh, door open on so we can see the uh, aircraft sticking out a little bit with the folded wings um, and I'm noticing here uh, so let me move these I'm noticing here that a lot of these photo edge pieces are the same number as these except this one here does have an, an extra number D36 this one just has one D36 um, so I think it would be quite easy to just go ahead and get all this photo etch as well so that I don't have to uh, clean out the airbrush an extra time. In other words, I can spray everything all at once. And I may as well go ahead and get all these little plastic parts, which are practically a mirror image of what we got for this hanger here. Um, you know, they look very, very similar. And I should be able to keep them separate and they will also be painted the same darker gray as the photo etch pieces so it'll be a lot easier to just just have one uh, painting session instead of two makes sense to me anyway quite often you'll hear me say something like this several hours has passed now well when I say that it generally means it's the next morning and yeah it's the next morning and I've gone ahead and I've, I've uh, cut off the rest of the photo etch pieces that we need here. 
uh, some of which were duplicates for, for this, so they can be put together in, in the same tray. Don't need to worry about mixing them up. They're the same size. Uh, oh, I just realized I forgot to get the ladder. Okay, I'll get that. Uh, however, uh, for the plastic parts, um, I'm not going to show cutting them off. We've done that to death. Um, but it looks like we need the H, the L, and the J sprues to get all the little pieces here. I'm just going to go ahead and get it. Oh, by the way, uh, my boo-boo, it's getting better. I've been up for about four hours today already. And when it was just starting to get light, I thought, I wonder how much of the carrots that I put out last night got ate. So I opened the door, looked outside, and it was actually drizzling pretty good then. And uh, here I see two little rabbits over by the carrots, or where they were, and they were pretty soggy. I hope they're like ducks, and the water runs off of them, not soaks into them. Well, we have everything all trimmed. All the photo etches is found. All the little plastic parts are nipped off, and... Uh, the uh, flashing and the sprue is sanded and filed off. Uh, then I'm thinking, I don't remember the second loudspeaker. So I check, and I missed it. Here it is right there, L4. Now I don't mind telling you, I had quite a time filing the sprue off of that and keeping the roundness like where the arrow is there. Yeah, if you come swing yourself around and see it from the other side, it looks a little bit on the rough side. Your perspective, it looks pretty good. However, as I've said before, nobody's going to see it anyway. Okay, a couple of things here. We've got our little uh, pieces of sprue that we've nipped off here. And uh, this is the uh, bottle that I have of the... Uh, extra thin, my, my original one, and as you can see it's down to maybe a, oh, 30% of being full, like here's the full one, and uh, so two things. First of all, let's get this off here. One of the viewers was mentioning how you could take and pull these bristles out a little bit, and I can sort of see where they, where they would, could come out, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off here, and hang on to it and it'll still work as a cap and then we're going to try and create some sprue goo here I guess that means I'm going to have to start using my new uh, bottle of extra thin thank goodness for time lapse okay we'll see how that looks tomorrow I would imagine it's going to take a lot more plastic than that to make it thick but anyway we'll hang on to this and uh, remember, I think it was in yesterday's episode, I was saying how I found that this one actually seemed to be better than the new one. So uh, if I find that the new one is just isn't working out for me, well, then I'll, I'll just switch applicators. You can see how easy it came off there. Okay, we'll see how that works out. Now, this is the hanger here that is going to have the doors open so that we can see the aircraft sticking out a little bit and uh, I think we're gonna have to check uh, with Stefan's book I guess I could use my fingers on those bigger ones maybe and uh, this piece here okay yeah so this is this this is the door and uh, I, I think that this piece here which goes up in the, what do you call that, cupola or something? Anyway, when it goes up, up in here, um, I think it it's hinges on and it props open, if I remember right. Well, let's just check the book and find out. And these two pieces here, I think it's sort of like one on top of the other, but I'm not sure. I don't think they open up like barn doors. Um, I think they slide together and then swing open. Well, like I say, let's check it out. Okay, here we are on page 317, and uh, this picture right here is the best one that I can find in the aircraft section anyway, that shows this actual hangar. And uh, 
yeah so what we can do is we can go by Stefan's book here as to uh, what will be the best way like you can see this panel here is obviously this one here I, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here well it's already two o'clock here in uh, Winnipeg and I better get moving okay I do believe I've got this one oriented right you see the parts for the hinge you know we're going to go there then this one here would lay on top of it as though they had slid together like as though this one had gone across on the rail here which I believe is this little rail right here okay so if we were to fasten this together like that probably uh, more like this because you can see here this this part here is exposed right here I'm going to try and do it as much the same as Stefan's drawing as possible um, then this piece here well this will go across the uh, front of the you know the uh, hanger itself here's our little door the drawing of course as you can see is much better bigger so it it uh, sort of hinges on here and swings completely open it doesn't uh, strip stick out like this now in all probability this door did swing right around it's just that Stefan has chosen to uh, show it you know at the same angle as the uh, side of the hanger and then we've got this little piece right here this piece right here is actually this piece right here so it'll be going on there somehow you know all the major components are there uh, and then we'll just have it in an open position and uh, I'm probably going to have the uh, aircraft sticking out so that the canopy uh, you know is half out maybe he's having it out too far well I guess we'll see when the time comes but that's going to be a long way down the road uh, as we were talking about before I think it what was it step 64 uh, the very last step that'll be one of the very last things we do is paint the aircraft and you know put them in place as best we can there are four aircraft I don't know where you would put four aircraft on this model I can see three you know this one's sticking out and then one on each end of the catapult on the on the sides so, but that's about it yeah anyway it doesn't matter that's a long way down the road yet now just after I pushed the stop button I was just noticing something here uh, this piece here doesn't that go right there yeah this S word went on the other hanger went something like that um, I wonder am I supposed to be looking for another piece that looks something like that did I miss something here on the No, we've got the H, that's the H30, that's what we were just looking at. Um, it doesn't show it in the plan. Well, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the kit, uh, or a lot of stuff that isn't in the kit, rather, that was on the real ship. I mean, it only stands to reason, right? Okay, now I'm done. Okay, now, so I'm going to want to glue these together like this. Okay, this, this door would have been on the real ship, slid over onto this door, then the whole thing would have swung out on these hinges that you see right there on the back. And this, what it would have swung over or slid over on was this track, which I think we'll glue in afterwards. So let's see what would happen here. I, I only get one chance at this because once it on the bottom. I know you're <coughs> probably losing the perspective there. And uh, I know I didn't put very much glue on, but uh, I think it's going to glue. Well, you know what? 
We'll see how that is in episode 221. Because we have run out of time here. <clears throat> right now it's just after 3 o'clock here in Winnipeg. And, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching and all being well. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>